Baguettes are very easy to make. Normally it only uses four ingredients plus water, but today I want to do a spin on this wonderful bread by adding some spice to it. Let's make spicy baguettes. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you're looking for authentic Belizean recipes, then you're in the right place. My name is Barbara and this is Cooking Made Simple. This is five cups of all-purpose flour, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of active dry yeast, and I buy my yeast by the pound, so I store it in this pickle jar and I keep it in the fridge. One teaspoon of pink Himalayan sea salt. You can, you know, use any salt that you have. And about two to three cups of warm water. These are the spices that I'm going to put in the baguettes today. Garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne, and basil. So let's begin. The sugar, the yeast, we don't even have to proof the yeast, the salt, and then the spices. So for the basil and the onion powder, I did one teaspoon, and for the cayenne and the garlic powder, I did half a teaspoon, okay? And you can put any blend of spices you like. Notice how I'm just kind of moving it around with my finger, kind of like what your dough hook would do if you were using a stand mixer. So now I'm adding the warm water, and this first batch is two cups. And I already know I'm going to need all of the two cups, but I'm still adding it slowly because I never want to overwet the dough. Right, so that one's done. Move it around. Feel where it's feeling sticky. Check for the dry spots. And then now it's time for me to add some more of the water for my next cup. So that's why I say about two to three cups of water. Let me go ahead and grab that right now. Pour it on the dry spots. And then just work that in until it's well incorporated. You're going to feel the dough get stickier and stickier. But if there's still dry spots, add more water. Very simple. Okay, this feels good. I don't think we need any more water. Let me go ahead and dump it out onto the countertop. Get all the pieces out. See, I leave my left hand out so I can feel it like here. So I know it, it's wet enough. And I'm just going to get all this dough off my other hand. Okay. See? Let me go wash them and dry them. Makes it easier to knead. Alright, so just work it around on the counter. We want to get rid of some of the stickiness. So I'm going to keep flouring my countertop as I need to. And flouring the dough. Can you guys tell that I was that kid that loved playing with Play-Doh? I really did. <laughs> I was always making something. So now just knead it until it feels smooth. Of course you can wear gloves. But it is my belief that gloves only protect the person wearing the gloves because you never see people with gloves wash their hands. But I wash my hands constantly and clean my nails all the time. Look at the beauty of all the spices in the dough. Cover it up for about, let's say 40 minutes. It doesn't take very long. And then dump it out. You can punch it down, of course. But the minute you start taking the dough from the bowl, it'll deflate. Let me get all the pieces out. Flour it. Take my ring off. And just knead. And we don't need to knead for long. This is ready. I can hear all the air coming out of it. I'm going to cut it in three. Normally I cut this amount in two. But I want to make a big sandwich from it. So I don't want it to be too thick. Because I don't want the bread to be too tall when we're trying to bite into the sandwich. So let me go ahead and roll this one off first. I'm just getting the rest of the air out. Now let me grab my rolling pin. And we're going to roll this into a rectangle. A long one. 
One that's long enough to fit on my baking tray though, okay? I can't make it too long because then it won't fit. So just be patient with it. Flour the rolling pin if you need to. Keep flipping it over. And it'll loosen up. So see it's getting longer. But I also want it a little bit wide. So let me work on the width. See how it's relaxing? So now I have to roll it up like this, kind of like rolling a towel or rolling a rag. Look how fast I'm going, guys. Just pinch it to tuck it in, okay? You want it tight. And then sew the seams shut by pinching it together. And then turn the ends down. And then turn it seam side down and put little slices on the top. I never wait for it to rise to do that because it'll burst on me. So put it diagonally on the tray so it can fit. And then I have two more to go. Let me put this one on top of the burners. And I haven't lit the oven yet, okay? Let me grease my tray. And then grab the second piece. Here we go. Let me get some more flour. Just knead it for a little bit. Just getting some more flour on it. And then now we're going to start with the rolling pin again. And then we have three like this. Cover them up. And then in about 10 minutes, I'm going to come back to light the oven. I want it to come up the temperature to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. This is 10 minutes, see? Now this is a half hour later. They don't take very long to rise, guys. Let's get them in. So thankfully, my oven has three shelves. So I can bake them all at once. Here goes the last one. Now let's set the timer for 30 minutes and then I'm going to come back and check on them. So we have what, four minutes left? Let me see how they're looking guys. They smell really good. They smell like pizza. Ooh, those are done. Let me get this before it burns. Mm-hmm. put this guy on the top get a little bit more brown for like two or three more minutes poor child <laughs> two what are we going to do with these mix sandwiches all right so when i get the third one out i'm going to cut off a little piece just to taste all right Ooh, listen to how that sound so let's get this twisty one right here it's still hot i'm going to grab this guy right here well Mm, I want to do a thumbnail, but you know what? Let me cut a piece of this. Where's my good knife? That's the timer for 30 minutes, guys. It didn't take quite 30 minutes. Okay, let me get my bread knife. I'll be right back. Mm. It's right here. I don't know why they like to just use my stuff and not put it back. So I'm going to cut off this little piece right here. Ready? Ooh, listen to that. You can see the little pieces of stuff right there. <laughs> okay, so let me go inside and do my thumbnail. And then I'm going to taste for you guys, okay? Yes! I'll put it like this. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Joe. Time to taste, but before I dive in, stay tuned for the next video because I'm gonna make a huge, are you poking me thing? A huge sandwich out of one of these breads, all right? Let's taste. Mm hmm. Hey, right. not too overpowering with the garlic. I don't like the smell of garlic, guys. I'm probably the one cook that does not like the smell of garlic. Mmm. It would taste 10 times better with butter. 
I was gonna say I'm not gonna do it though, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, too much. Some people don't put sugar in their baguettes. I put sugar because it tastes bad without it. Okay. I'm going to let these cool down. I'm going to make a big sandwich for the next video, okay? Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're seeing me on Facebook, don't forget to follow, like, and share the page. If you're seeing me on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the page. And if you want to see me on a different platform, come and join the membership at Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Bear Pantry Show.